you are imprisoned in a fear bubble of your own making. I said the word fear and your brain immediately, immediately said, what are we scared of? You know what you're scared of. You understand the parameters that it puts within your mind when you try to do something. Whether it's talking to people, whether it's going to a meeting, whether it's being around high class people, whether it's stepping into the water, right? Swimming, running, going to a high place. Everyone has a fear. But here's the thing. Your fears do not exist. Your fears were made and crafted. You took fears from other people. Did you know that when you were born, the only things you feared was abandonment and not getting any food? Everything else you learned from other people, fresh out the womb, like a piece of clay. You came into this world and you started adopting fears from fears from fears. Whether it's a TV show you watched, you watched something that animated, right? Animated your mind in a way whereby you saw this thing, whether it's an orange, let's just think of the, an orange, how people spoke about that orange. This orange is poisonous. It will kill you. It will take everything away from you, right? You know that that's dangerous. That's all you know that is dangerous, but you don't understand that you've been centered by someone else's fear. Right. Before that, you didn't understand that. They are, there's a theory where they talk about apples, right? The only reason why you think an apple is red is because you are told it is red. If you are born and you said that that apple is blue, your whole life you're saying it's blue, it's blue, it's blue. If everyone else said, ah, it's blue, it's a blue apple, what are you talking about? You would say the exact same thing. Where am I going with this? Where am I coming from? This all stems from a book by Ant Middleton called The Fear Bubble. I read this book and it's changed my life because every single thing I'm scared to do is within a bubble. I always look at it. When I was thinking of recording this video, oh, it's going to take too long. What if I do this? What if I say this wrong? I'm going to stutter a bubble. And he talks about this bubble. This is the biggest takeaway. I always talk about these books and I have one takeaway for you. Every single fear you have is within a bubble. When you step into that bubble, you're within that fear. Let's say there's someone you want to talk to, right? You step into a bubble of fear of you are not confident, you don't look good enough, oh, oh, you're, a bit, you're a bit nervous, your hands are sweaty, oh, the whole world is crumbling. You're in a bubble. And the cool thing is that that bubble is meant to do that. It is. It has to because that is how you've linked the fear. On the contrary, a different person steps into your same bubble and emerges victorious. They make a new friend. They talk to this person and everything is fine. They're stronger. They have more connections. This person now knows another person that knows exactly what that other person wants. Now that person's rich. Oh, look at that. Oh, my life is terrible. I don't know why I did not do that. Oh, it's because within that bubble, you both had a decision. And here's the funny thing. You both stepped into that bubble. You may think, oh, he wasn't scared. He or she wasn't scared. They, they were confident. Oh, they knew that. No, you both had the same fear. It's who was able to handle it and emerge out. You got consumed. They emerged out because they understood this is a bubble. It is made for me to be upset. Right now, I'm even thinking of stuff I have to do tomorrow that's in a bubble. Right, meetings I have to go for. I'm understanding that it's in a bubble. Why am I scared? Because the fear bubble makes you do that. In this book, he says how within these bubbles, you have a choice to flee or to emerge victorious. Here's the danger. Why I say this is dangerous is that if you flee from the bubble, you turn your back. He speaks about his time in the army and how he obviously was in a lot of difficult situations, life or death. In these situations, it calls from a it calls for a an undoubtable mindset, right? You can't doubt yourself because if you doubt yourself, bang, 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 bang. Oh, you're scared. Oh, you turned around. You turned your head. That's just that's do or die, life or death, and you're gone. Same thing with the bubble. You have to program yourself to say, "This is scary." I know. And understand when you're in the bubble. 
Some people don't know that they get into bubbles. That's why it's so difficult, right? Every situation you can see from your day-to-day -day life that is uncomfortable is a bubble. Look for your bubbles, establish them, see them from a distance, right? You wanna to talk to someone, if they're on the other side of the gym, other side of the ballroom, wherever you are, if it's your last dance, whatever it is you wanna do, understand that that person is in a bubble. What you can do is certain bubbles give you time. Here's the cool thing, you have time to react before it. If there's a meeting tomorrow, what you can do is establish a positive mindset that is going to guide you and put you in the best place. Right. Miss Andrew Tate himself says that, hey, when you go into life, you have a choice to be the guy, the girl on that day, right? Or you can decide I'm not going to be that person. But you lose nothing but saying I am the best to ever do it. The best to ever step into the ring and understand that, hey, I can do it. So, you have time, plan. Fail to plan, plan to fail. What am I going to say? How am I going to act? Enter that bubble with confidence and you will emerge victorious. Or maybe a bit of a stutter there, it doesn't matter. You've entered in a certain way. The other person can see that this person came here to speak to me in a way which is so confident. I have no option but to respond positively. Whereas, oh, oh how are you doing? Uh, uh, now, there's an issue. This person has re been received with negativity. He has no choice or he or she has no choice but to respond in a way which is not too good. Understand your bubbles. When you can't plan for it, your unconscious mind is important. Ben Sweetland, Grow Rich While You Sleep is a great book that helps you unlock the subconscious mind to be fast. When you're in a bubble that's unexpected, right? That person that you wanted to talk to, that thing you wanted to do is in your face now. Ooh, that's when it gets hectic. I've been in so many situations like that and you have to understand that you are in control. Take a step back. Respond in your own time. Don't jump. You've asked, they've asked a question, they've, there's, there's a situation at hand. Relax. Slow down. Understand that everything you are has centered you in this position to be the best possible person. Everything you've heard or you've learned is now. So what we do is that we start gravitating towards a better self, better self-esteem, more confidence, and the whole world opens up. Your job now is to find your bubbles. Find the thing that is so uncomfortable, it makes you squeamish. You're like, oh my word. And attack it. Plan for it. Some of these bubbles you can really plan in advance and it's your duty to do the best possible job. What I have to say guys, it's a boy mass stroke. Like the content up until now, don't be afraid to subscribe. It's all on you. Have a sick day, keep on following your dreams. Defeat these fear bubbles and you will become victorious. Nothing else to say, let go. Boom, ah, didn't see that, fast man, fast.